here with the director of the planetarium at Carmel High School, Keith Turner. Good afternoon to you. Glad to have you with us. If folks want to watch and look at the solar eclipse on Monday, what's the best way to do that? So if you're here in central Indiana, it's only going to be 91% covered uh, by the moon. Mm -hmm. And so it's not safe to look at directly. So you want to make sure that you shield your eyes with something like eclipse shades. Okay. That's a possibility. Uh, if you can't get those, another way to do that is I've got a little demonstration here. It's a, it's a mirror taped to a stick with just a little bit of, a, of the mirror showing and a little bit bigger than a dime. And you can reflect that sun off the mirror and then send the reflection maybe 20, 30 feet away onto a, like a large sheet of paper. Okay. And you'll get a nice big image of the moon. I'm sorry, you'll get a nice big image of the sun and people can gather around it. You can get a lot of people around it to see it. Very good, and it's safer because you're not looking directly right. at it. We actually did this in the classroom yesterday also through a window. Excellent. So you could do it inside of school, you could do it outside. Scientifically, break it down for us in simple terms, what's happening? So most of the time, as the moon orbits Earth, it doesn't block out the sun. But there are special circumstances that happen about twice a year, roughly, where the moon can get in between the sun and the earth. And that's what's happening Monday. The moon's gonna get directly in between the sun and the earth, and it'll be in the new phase. And if you get in what's called the path of totality, we're actually gonna get the sun completely blocked out. Pretty exciting. Give us one fun fact about eclipses that maybe folks don't know at home. So if you get in the path of totality Monday, the temperature can drop 10 degrees rapidly which can cause a wind to pick up. Uh, bugs and birds can be confused because it looks like it's at sunset all of a sudden. Yes. Uh, people have said, I haven't been in totality yet, but people have told me that crickets can chirp, start chirping like it's nighttime. So I'm excited. I'm going to totality on Monday. Excellent. All right, Keith Turner with Carmel High School. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Back to you. And on the IndyChannel.com, a display of what the solar eclipse will look like minute by minute from all corners of Indiana. Check it out to plan your solar eclipse experience.